Hi, my name is Dr. Kenny Russell. I'm here with my wife, Haley. We're from God of Life Ministries International, and we put this daily devotion together to give you hope. We want to encourage you, for we know that the Word of God has a lot to say to you and to me. And as we make declaration of the Word, as we declare the Word together, as we speak the Word together, let us not give up meeting together, but let us encourage each other all the more as we see the day approaching. Hi, welcome to Word of God Speak. It's a blessing that we can come together around the Word of God because we know this Word is truth. The Word of God is living and active. It's sharper than a double-edged sword. So it doesn't matter what you're faced with today. It doesn't matter what you're going through. You might have had a hidden surprise just show up in your face today. You might have had a, a trial or a situation come at you today. And I want to encourage you that God has given us the answers we need within the Word. But we also want to speak out a word of encouragement to encourage you to make a decision to be prepared for difficult seasons. There's some of you, you're in difficult seasons and you've done no preparation and you're going to feel just like these five foolish virgins that we're speaking on this morning. But we want to just declare this word over you so that next time and in the midst of what you're going through, you can get prepared because Jesus is coming back for a prepared people. He's coming back for those that are fainting not, for those that are seeking first his kingdom. So this morning we're going to read from Matthew chapter 25 and verse 10 to 13 and Haley's going to read it for us this morning. But while they were on their way to buy the oil, the bridegroom arrived. The virgins who were ready went in with him to the wedding banquet and the door was shut. Later the others also came. Sir, sir, they said, open the door for us. But he replied, I tell you the truth, I don't know you. Therefore, keep watch, because you do not know the day or the hour. It's amazing because right at the start of this passage, uh, in verse 1 to 10, it's talking about how the foolish virgins and the wise virgins were perfectly happy being together. There was no problem with them, there was no division, they could be together, everything was fine. But when the midnight cry came out, all of a sudden, the five foolish virgins are looking around saying, uh-oh, we are not prepared. And then they look to the wise ones and says, well, you have to help us. And the wise one says, no, 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 we don't have to help you because we're prepared. You've had plenty of time to be prepared. And if, if we are not prepared, if this oil runs out before he comes, then we're going to look stupid and that's not going to happen. You have to go and buy your own oil. So while they're off buying their own oil in verse 10, the bridegroom, he arrives, and the virgins who are wise, they go in uh, with the, the bridegroom. And um, what happens next is the door is shut behind them. And here comes the foolish virgins. They can go and they can purchase the oil. And they come back and say, Sir, sir, will you open the door? Will you let us in? And this is the statement that's made. I never knew you. And our challenge today is, you might know Christians, you might be associated to people who are saved, who know Jesus. And um, my, my cry to you today is, do you know Jesus for yourself? Do you know the truth for yourself? Because you can't stand upon uh, the testimony of someone else. Because when that cry goes out, I know that there's many of you are going to go, uh oh, we are not prepared, we are not ready, because God is coming back for a people who are, who are working for bringing His kingdom and working on the purpose that He has for you. But this is a Jewish part as well. I believe this is a cry to, uh, to uh, Jews today. You might uh, think, what's this Jesus stuff and what's this God stuff? Well, Jesus was very Jewish. He was Jewish. And our Father God is the same God of the Jews. And uh, Haley's Jewish. And she knows from her personal experience you know, what it is like to find the Messiah. And we just want to say today, find the Messiah, trust in Him. Don't lean on someone else's testimony or someone else's relationship. I want to thank you for watching today. Until next time, God bless.